Hey everyone, I hope everyone had a great Christmas or any holiday they're celebrating and I hope you're going to have a good new year when it comes. But I need you guys to do me a big favour. That channel, I need you to subscribe it. I'm nearly at 500. Guys, you can help me with this one. And this is all I ask for you from this. And also, if you want, why not check out my Facebook page, Twitter and also Instagram where you get to see some behind the scenes photographs when I'm doing the toy reviews anything like that or what's coming up next for all the links of these they're in the description box below so sit back and I hope you enjoy the Nemesis Prime review Hey everyone Optimus Wilbur here and this video is not suitable for children under the age of 13 this is aimed at Young Collectors and Adult Collectors, let's start the video. Welcome everyone back to another Optimus Wilbur Reviews and if you want to make baby Grimlock happy why not hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share it amongst your Transformer friends, this helps the channel out so much. This is something I've been waiting on for a long time and I managed to grab one just on Christmas Eve. I wanted to wait a couple of days, I didn't want to put out videos over the, just over the last two days for Christmas period so to speak everybody's going to be enjoying their time with their family and friends. So I wanted just to give it a couple of days and then I will show off Nemesis Prime. Well, let's talk about the bot first, the toy. We know it's a trailer from Earth Rise and we know it's a bot from Siege, so there's not really much we can discuss on how the transformation works or anything like that. But when it comes to Nemesis Prime, over the last couple of, like, 10 years, maybe more, this character has become more and more popular. It could be pushing 20, but the character itself has become more and more popular. And he's up there with likes of some of my favourite Decepticon characters with likes of Overlord and Megatron and Galvatron. So to have like the new version of him is really great. I mean, the spoiler edition for Siege, I wasn't too fussed with, with Ultra Magnus. It was just a dirty Ultra Magnus, in my opinion. But, would I knock it back now if it was reduced? No. It's an extra Ultra Magnus, but this guy, I really did want. That's the packaging right behind it. This big ammo crate, which I think is pretty cool. And, it comes with a ton of accessories. So, we've got two blasters, which I'll talk about when we get to them. We've got one of the Battle Masters and of course those Energon cubes that are hidden in Play-Doh for some strange goddamn reason. That is some. So let's take them away. And we'll open up the trailer. Inside we've got one sword, another sword which transforms his rifle. And you might be wondering what that is. We are decided to give him a little extra thing, but there's a reason behind that. Because we're going to do a cab Harrison with him. And after I'd done the video with the upgrades for Optimus Prime, I did say I will never buy the rest. I lied. So <laughs> there's a few things that we can talk about this bot in the sense of quality and everything else. Everybody knows the transformation of Optimus Prime Siege. Everybody knows how to do it. It's good at moving, it's just this surface isn't really the best for it. And if I take away the trailer, that menacing look just looks incredible. I really do love the red here. I'm a big fan of the red and black. And it just looks menacing. That is the easiest way to describe it. There's not really much I can say in the quality of the bot. Mines has been perfect. Took me one try to make sure the the clips went in and then they started to fit and go in proper and how like the first transformation, how you're trying to line everything up. Unlike a certain bot here. But Nemesis Prime works, and that's the most important thing. But the trailer, 
Now, if anybody knows my air fry review, um, I hated the trailer. And the reason was it looked plain, the painted on baby blue um, down the side, which is, it was horrendous. And of course, I had to upgrade everything in the trailer, toy hacks decals, third party option. But one thing I can say, right out the box, they've put a decal on this and it looks great. It's one of these, again, one of these bots that I really want to upgrade them with toy hacks decals or go for third party. I haven't really made my mind up yet with this guy. I don't know yet. But to have the trailer looking like this right away is a massive improvement over just the bog standard we got when we originally got Air Fry's Prime. Inside is just like the basic look. Very plain. You've got his little command bay up the top. And the problem with this is now, like say Air Fry's Prime, you can take this off and you can clip on them. Unfortunately, you can't really do that with the Siege mold. You can't do that. It just doesn't look right. So, but that's really everything you've got within this. Of course, you can take this bit off if you want a shield. So, it does everything this Air Fry's version does. Just in a different colour. Now, if we're going to do comparisons, there's really only one bot you can bring into this to do the comparison with, and that's of course is Air Fry's Prime. And this is one thing I really did like. Now, I know a lot of people wanted this mold to be the Air Fry's mold, but after having the Dead Optimus Prime, we've got a shattered glass version, and then we've got the Netflix version, which is just a redo of the paint scheme. I'm quite happy they've made this the Siege one and kept it completely different from the Air Fry's one and what do I mean by this? It's just the way the two of them stand out. You can clearly tell what one is Prime and one's Nemesis and I like that idea this truck looks completely different to Prime. Similar to what they'd done in the Revenge of the... Uh, not the Revenge of the Fallen movie, sorry, the Dark of the Moon movie, whereas Prime and Megatron were trucks, but Megatron was more of a, what's the best way to describe it? A destroyed looking truck, um, run down, you, you name it, that Mack truck just looked very post-apocalyptic and it worked for Megatron. And having, if you're going to have two opposite characters, don't let them match. So you have the two bots like this was, I think, the best option. It does work, it really does. So, take Prime out of the way. The thing with the trailer, however, I have seen a third party option where you can put the turrets there. I wish the turrets did do that just out the box. There's really no really, really a place you can put them unless you want to put them like up here. And I just think that looks silly. And then when you put everything inside the trailer, a house up. You start to run out of space. That's the only issue I've run into. Especially if you're adding in this. Or you're putting in this little guy. The thing is, I think this guy's going to be transformed. And I'll put him on barricade or something. Especially the blast effect. I'm not overly fussed with him. This was the thing I wanted. This bot was what I wanted more out of everything coming out of Air Fries. And I've got him. So let's get them transformed and we'll look at all the accessories and we'll start comparing them to Earthrise Optimus Prime and we'll look at the final upgrades I've got on him. And here is Nemesis Prime transformed and if you guessed that it, it's the one that was the 35th anniversary except I think that one had a better paint job. If I remember correct, this is where I need Danny to help me. She'll know she's got both of these figures now. Again, mega jealous Danny. <laughs> but figures brilliant everything the exact same as Siege Prime the guy looks incredible absolutely love the look of this figure it's it's one of those ones where I think Siege and Air Fries has gave us something back as Transformer fans especially in the Generation 1 stage that if we missed out on certain bots now we've got them to the closest we could get them back in the day. Like, so my one, Astral Strain, that is phenomenal. I'm just going to bring him in for two seconds. But to get my Astral Strain looking like this, when 
I wanted them as like a young kid and I had to wait a while before I got the Generation 1 version. And now like the Earth Rise or the Siege version, you can do all that stuff with it. It's it's really good. Now, height comparison. All importantly, let's bring back and just tidy them up. Earth Rise Prime. Just get them standing. Stand. And there is a slight difference, not much, between the two guys. If anything, it's just a little bit taller here. But it's when you think it's the exact same legs um, they use in each body, it's just really the hip part. It's a bit different. Now, what's this on Prime's back? Well, that was the thing. It was in Nemesis Prime's trailer. Yep, I've got the jetpack now. You just clip it on at the back. You have to remove the bottom bit. And now Prime can fly. But the part before that I had, that will forever stay in Nemesis Prime because I'm not buying all the upgrade kits like I did originally. Because when I actually looked at how much I've spent on this Prime, the actual Earthrise Prime between Toy Hacks decals and everything else, it was a lot of money. So one of the final bits is this bit for Prime, and it's just really a back piece that finishes them off like a masterpiece. And all you've got to do is flip it open, just tidy it up, and then you just get into position it's going to be on his back. So let's get it like that just now. Come to the back, you peg it in, fold these bits around here, and that just tidies this part off. It just makes it look cleaner, and... That's the way Prime so stay. So that's the last two upgrades for Optimus Prime, and I thought I'd just put them in in this video. So let's talk about the parts you get for Nemesis. So let's bring back in that Battlemaster. And we'll bring in one of his swords. One of his swords can transform into this, like, eagle or falcon. I've not decided what it's wanting to be, but... It's, Cybertronian bird anyhow, transform it, just hold it there and twist that part round and close the sword. Close that bit there and then you just make him hold it. There you go. There's one weapon and the shield along with it. If you're going for a more running gun approach and we'll put on those turrets which I was talking about. This is really the only place I found a use for them. Um, if anybody else has found anything different, let me know. I just, I want him to look okay. And that to me is a bit much. It looks good, but it's just a bit much. And finally, we've got his main sword, which looks pretty cool. That looks incredible. And if I put him next to Prime, let's put his blaster on him. Fortunately, I would have used my Energon axe for him, but... That axe is long snapped. I still keep it in the trailer, but where it clips into the, ha the figure's hand, it's just broke. And I don't like that. I don't like the fact it's done that. But there you go, guys. That gives you a rough idea how the two characters look together. There is upgrades. I've seen of this guy already. So, what can you get from... I've seen those trailer concepts you can put on. Um, Patriot Prime showed a great video on it. Something I might look into, it's not a definite. The other thing I have seen which was out for the original Nemesis Prime was something similar I'd done in my Siege upgrade review for Optimus Prime. There is a light source you can put in here. And of course that being a red light would illuminate the chest. I wish I had it for this review. I really do, but unfortunately due to Scotland being put back in a lockdown, and like so even post coming from Canada, I'm still waiting on a lot of toy hacks, which has been nearly five weeks. There's no way I would have got in time um, for the review. Plus, on top of that, I didn't think I'd get it this side of the year, especially just before Christmas. That was the most important thing. So I decided to go against that and just leave it. But it's something I'm going to think about. If there's a toy hacks decal set, again, it's something I have to think about. If they're going to do something as good as what they've done for the Siege Prime, I might do it. Again, it's not a bot I really want to do, 
but I might do it just so it tidies everything up and make this guy stand out. If you can get him as a definite, of course it's a Siege Prime, of course it's the Fry's trailer, but the bot's definitely worth it if you want this Nemesis looking Prime. Again, it's just a character I've totally fell in love with over the years, and with hints being shown, like I showed at the start of the video, just like flashing them up on screen, um, he is going to be in the new series, we don't know how or anything, we just seen the images. It's something to look forward to on the 30th. So, that being said, guys, I hope he's enjoyed the video. This is a definite to buy. Complaint-wise, there's really nothing apart from just, like, sort of nitpicky things like the turrets. Are they worth it? Things like that. Nothing major. I'd rush out and get this if you can. If you see him, pick him up. Um, <laughs> totally, I would do it. And if we're going to look at the bot, it's coming on in the next reviews. Let's look at Netflix. Red alert. And there's a reason... Because all his upgrades are here. And I think this is going to be a great little bot to show off. I love this Lamborghini mold. Everybody knows that. And I can't wait to show this one off. Guys, until next time, I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a like. All that amazing stuff. Subscribe if you haven't. Close to 500. 13 away. Or 17 away the last I checked. And there you go guys, the two primes, and I'll see you all in the next Optimus Wilbur reviews. Thank you for everyone who tuned in today's video. If you want to make baby Grimlock happy, why not hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. All new videos are always coming right here in Optimus Wilbur reviews. If you'd like to follow me in any of my social media links, all the descriptions are in the description box below. And of course, as always, I cannot stress this enough, I wish to thank Cybertronic Spree for allowing me to use their song Cybertronic Warrior as the theme of this channel. Guys, this is an incredible band that does incredible covers and recently just done an amazing album of the Transformers 1986 movie soundtrack. Please follow them and all their social media links. I have every description in the description box below. Please check them out, and as always, Transformer fans, till all are one.